Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty and this is Speculative Magpie. And I thought I'd do a quick little book review today. I picked up something a couple days ago that I thought was pretty cool and I wanted to share with you about it. It's a graphic novel, Something is Killing the Children. Um, I went to a local comic book store and started talking to the uh, people who work there about horror comics and they suggested this one. And I'm glad they did, because I really, really enjoyed it. So let me read you the synopsis, and then we'll talk about my feelings on it, okay? All right, hold on. Here we go. It's the monsters that should be afraid. When the children of Archer's Peak, a sleepy town in the heart of America, begin to go missing, everything seems hopeless. Most children never return, but the ones that do have terrible stories, impossible details of terrifying creatures that live in the shadows. Their only hope of finding and eliminating the threat is the arrival of a mysterious stranger, one who believes the children and claims to be the only one that can see what they can. Her name is Erica Slaughter. She kills monsters. And that's all she does, and she bears the cost because it must be done. Now, these are the three authors. Um, please don't ask me to say their names because I slaughtered their names when I first tried to record this video. So I just wanna make sure that you can see them. That way you can find this volume, okay? This is volume one. Um, volume two is gonna be out later in today. I mean, in the year, not today, geez. Yeah, so this was so good. Um, let me show you what Erica Slaughter looks like because she is my new favorite fictional person in the world. Okay, this is her. There she is. She might be a new girl crush, I'm not sure. And you see that little plushie there? That little plushie is a plush octopus that is possessed by some sort of like spirit and that plushy spirit may be of questionable loyalty. This was so good. So it starts off with a young man named James and he's attending his first sleepover. They look to be about, you know, like 13 in this. No, still young. Um, and it's James's first sleepover. He's never really had friends and they're playing truth or dare. And they all go outside for some reason and James's friends get slaughtered. Um, and he's the only one that survives. So of course, everybody blames James for his friend's death. And not too long after that, um, Erica Slaughter comes into town. She's aware of what's going on um, and she and James hook up to fight the monsters. Now, there are some other players. There's a sheriff who's not sure he wants to believe in monsters. There's, um, Tommy, the older brother of one of the missing children. He's definitely blaming James and blaming Erica for the, um, for the monster attacks. He doesn't, he doesn't believe in monsters. He thinks they're the ones that are doing it. Um, I never really understood how they all think James, who is this 13 year old boy, could like completely tear apart these children because that's what happens. And it's just them trying to hunt down the monsters that kill James's friends. And it's gory, but it's not the goriest graphic novel I've read. There's some scenes that you're like, wow, okay. Um, trigger warning, children die in this, <laughs> um, and they die horribly. Um, but there's also some, like, other layers to this, like there's a shadow organization that Erica may or may not work for, and they all may or may not have, you know, possessed plushies, um, <laughs> which I'm kind of down for, you know, that's fine. I think that's a quirky thing for it and there's a shadow boss that Erica keeps in touch with that I'm assuming tells her where to go um yeah and 
So full stop, as this is a comic book and a graphic novel in a series, this does end on a cliffhanger. And it is going to be a while if you're like me and you're going to wait for the, um, the like omnibus compilations to come out. Like I said, it's going to be a couple months before the next one comes out, but I am so looking forward to it and I can't wait. I definitely give this a five out of five stars and I highly recommend you pick it up. I had a lot of fun reading this and I love Erica Slaughter now. So have a good day and I'll talk to you later and come back and we'll talk about books and things next time.